And I'm Crystal. And we're here at the Patchogue Medford Library to talk to you about building sugar cube castles. You might remember us when we were here last year at the library for a very frozen party. When we were here, Kristoff helped the library staff build this amazing replica of Elsa's ice palace out of sugar cubes. Later, he's going to teach you the science behind sugar and how it dissolves in water. And I'm going to teach you how to build your very own sugar cube castle. All right, so when someone returned to Annabelle, Elsa's magical ice castle melted. So today, we're going to demonstrate how that happened with our sugar cube castle that we made for the library last year. So the way sugar cubes are made is they're lightly moistened. So you add a little bit of water to just a bowl of sugar, and then they're compressed into these cubes. And that's how we get our sugar cubes to begin with. So to get rid of them, sugar will go and dissolve in water. So when you add a lot more water to our already made sugar cubes, they start to dissolve. So that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to go, and we're going to take warm water, and we're going to start adding it all into our ice castle. So as the sugar cubes go and absorb the water, they're going to start to dissolve, and we're going to be able to watch our ice castle melt. So we can already see the bottom layer is starting to dissolve, and our ice castle is starting to melt. So the more water we add, the more of the castle is going to start melting, and we'll be able to watch it as it all falls away. So we'll check back in a little bit as our ice castle begins to melt more. But in the meantime, we're going to go to Queen Anna to learn how to build our own ice castle. While we're waiting for Kristoff's castle to finish dissolving, I'm going to show you how to put together your own sugar cube castle. In your kit, you will get a bag of sugar cubes, a glue pen, and a piece of cardstock. Now, the first thing that you should do is plan what you want your castle to look like. When you're ready to start building, you take your glue pen and you start by drawing a line of glue on your piece of cardstock. And then one by one, you can start sticking your sugar cubes to the glue. Now to make your castle stronger, what you could also do is put a dot of glue in between each cube and it'll stay together better. And you keep doing this layer by layer until you're all finished building. Right, so right now we can see that most of our castle is dissolved and all that's left is the glue we use to actually put it all together. We have a couple of little more sugar cubes here and there, but those are going to dissolve shortly. So the reason why in our time lapse you saw we were putting in more water and taking out more water is the water becomes what's called saturated. So as the water goes and dissolves our sugar cubes, the sugar cube molecules enter the water. And when water gets full of these sugar cube molecules, it can't go and dissolve any more sugar until you remove it and add more water. So that's what we were doing, is we were taking out all of that saturated water and putting in brand new fresh water to dissolve more of our sugar cubes. 
All right, so we're all done melting our castle. All that's left is the platform we built it on and the glue we used to keep all of our sugar cubes together. There's a couple of straggler sugar cubes, but we're not gonna worry about that since the majority of our castle is completely gone. So, hope you enjoyed that. So I hope you enjoyed that video on how to build and resolve sugar cube castles. For more books on scientific experiments and Frozen, you can come to the Patchogue Medford Library. And for more winter fun this December, come to the library and pick up your own kit to make snow globes with my sister Elsa and hot chocolate ornaments with me, Queen Anna, and our friend Olaf. Bye!